Hi, Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns. I racked my brain trying to think of an appropriate project for Halloween. Real problem. Tell my wife suggested a spider. Well, okay. Well, I looked at images online to see if I can be somewhat close to anatomically correct. Problem that I saw is that most varieties of spiders seem to have this big back section. And if I make that round, it tends to be very high and sticking off the ground, but the spiders are fairly low to the ground. Now I came up with a solution. Eccentric. So I will take that end of the spider and offset him a little bit so that that section has kind of a flattish bottom on it. So let's make, for Halloween, a scary spider. I'll start with the body. I've mounted a hunk of juniper between centers on the lathe. This is green wood, so it turns very easily. Once the cylinder is round, I'll trim the ends and lay out the body. I'll use a parting tool to mark the sections of the body. With the body somewhat roughed out, I'll shift the drive center just under a half inch. I'm eyeballing it, hoping it will be enough to give the spider a somewhat flat stomach. Then a little more gouge work. I do not want a smooth shape, only a shape that flows well. To me, spiders are a nasty, hairy thing, not smooth, pretty creatures. With the stomach flattened, there's just a little more touch up to the body. Then carve away the nubs for the drive and life centers. The only problem was that my wife then told me spiders only have two body sections and not three like insects. Oh well, I'll carve off the small top section. While I'm at it, I'll carve on some other sections just to add some interest. Now for the legs. Each leg on my spider will have two sections. I have more juniper, but it is much thicker than I need. I would saw it into quarters, except I prefer to use the heartwood for these legs. So I'll reduce the diameter down to the heartwood with a gouge. I'll mount the leg sections on a wire running through the two segments, through the body, then through the two leg segments on the other side. So I'll need a hole through each segment. A skew is perfect for the small spindle work. Nothing terribly fancy for these legs. A basic elongated oval will do. One done and on to the others. About now is when the spider bit me. A spider has eight legs. Eight legs, each with two segments, means 16 total segments. I'm very glad now I don't plan to sand and finish the spider. Finally, I drilled the holes in the body for the leg wires and my wife was kind enough to assemble the creature for me. Since he's green, he may split or crack, but that would be in keeping with the Halloween spirit. Now we're ready for Halloween. We have our very own pet spider. Now it's your turn to make a spider. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my website and YouTube channel. Safe turning makes for good turning. Please wear your face shield. Until next time, this is Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns.